Hey guys, in this video, uh, we're going to render the scene. In the last video, we kind of added a background, a very simple background to our animation. In fact, let me go to um, draw mode and hit the play. You can see we have a bouncing ball animation and we put them in the back and we put in the background. Uh, we drew the, the, the clouds, the mountains, the hills and, and the foreground. Uh, in a different layer, the background layer, we also did a background sketch layer where we planned out the background. We also have the uh, the initial uh, layer where we planned out the, the animation. I'm going to hide those two. Uh, stop, the, uh, stop the animation. And let's talk about rendering. Uh, I want to render this as a, uh, a quick time movie. So let's uh, render it. The rendering happens up here in the render button. You can render an image. Let's render an image, see what happens. And boom, it renders a, the first frame, or in this case, the 24th frame. That's the last frame. Uh, I'm going to close it, uh, it, which we were on 20, frame 24. Uh, so any frame that you're on, for example, frame 8, if you go up here to render, render image, it'll just render that one frame. You can see that uh, it's frame eight and it took uh, one second, 1 1.6 seconds, uh, and it, that's the memory it took. I'm gonna close this, not save it, because we wanna render an animation, the, the whole animation. And so um, here in the properties uh, panel, I'm gonna go to um, the camera icon is the scene properties and I'm going to render this scene using the render in engine Eevee uh, there's also workbench and cycles but I'm going to render in Eevee and the next one is a little um, um, printer icon and it's the dimension so this is rendering at full HD 1920 by 1080 at a hundred percent one to one uh, and then we're going to render from frame 1 to 25. And step 1 means that we're going to render every frame, not every other frame, every frame at a 24 frames per second frame rate. Okay, those you need to, those you need to do, um, be aware of all this stuff. Uh, and then the output. Where are we going to render it to? Click on the uh, folder icon. Make sure you save the animation. We'll call it a ball animation uh, render. And we're going to save it to the desktop, desktop, and accept. So right now it's going to the desktop and it's going to be called ball animation render. Uh, here in the uh, file format, I'm gonna change that to, instead of uh, PNG, I'm going to change it to FFmpeg video, FFmpeg video, uh, and RGB in color. And then the encoding, I'm going to change this container to QuickTime. I'm going to leave the video co uh, codec the same and everything else stays the same. Basically everything stays uh, as is. There's no audio. Uh, encoding speed good and all that stuff is good so we changed uh, this but we kind of left everything the same uh, and after we've changed this guys all you have to do is hit render animation and this should go um, and it'll tell you frame 3 frame 4 frame 5 6 and you can see the status here and you can see where your animation is going and it'll render a, a QuickTime movie on your desktop where I told it to, to render to. Uh, we'll, we'll just wait, give it a one second. It's already on 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and it's done. I'm gonna close this, hide Blender, and here is my animation. Uh, I had done this with my other classes. So here's our ball animation render. Double click to see it. Uh, hit loop. 
in the QuickTime and hit play. And, and there it is. That's all there is to it. Uh, obviously, you can get a little bit more uh, elaborate with the frames and the timing, the squash and stretch, and more elaborate on the drawing in the background and all that stuff. But this is a very, very quick demonstration of how you can get started animating. Uh, render out your animation to a QuickTime uh, movie file, and then uh, you're done. Uh, and you can notice the, the name is Ball Animation Render from 1 to 25.mov. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.